everybody. My name is Jessica Gonzalez, and I am a religious education instructor in the Diocese of San Bernardino. Thank you so much for spending your, some of your precious time to watch our iGod broadcast. I am both happy and I am honored to be with you today and to talk about something that I truly love. Today is Friday, July 19th, 2019, and our gospel reading is taken from the book of St. Matthew, chapter 12, verses 1 through 7. I'd like to first ask you a question. Have you ever heard the old saying, being stuck between a rock and a hard place, or you're darned if you do, or you're darned if you don't? Well, that's what's happening in today's gospel reading. They say in everyone's life, there are decisive moments, times or events that define our lives. Sometimes we make choices that we will regret the rest of our lives. Other times we celebrate that we didn't give in to temptation and choose to do the right thing. But there are other times that no matter what we choose to do, there is no right answer. And that is what we learn about today. You see, in today's gospel, we learn that Jesus was going through a field of grain on the Sabbath. His disciples were hungry and began to pick the heads of grain and eat them. When the Pharisees saw this, they said to him, See, your disciples are doing what is unlawful to do on the Sabbath. The Pharisees evidently thought it would be better for these men to go hungry than to disregard a Sabbath law. Instead, Jesus tells them, I say to you, something greater than the temple is here. If you knew what this meant, I desire mercy, not sacrifice. You would not have condemned these innocent men. For the Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. You see, while the Pharisees think they know what is best, we know that the ultimate justification for the disciples' violation of the Sabbath is because Jesus, the Son of God, has supreme authority over the law. And though there are times we struggle to make the right decisions, it's important not to try to justify what we are doing by comparing it with what the world may say is okay, but instead, look to God's teachings to know what is right and act accordingly. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, help us in those times of weakness to find strength in you. When the world around us makes us feel small and insignificant, help us to keep in mind that humility is strength and pride is weakness. Help us to stand up for all that is good, to stand tall and firm on all that we know is right. Through Jesus Christ our Lord we pray, amen. Thank you for partnering with WordNet. Now we have an easy and fun way of making your donations to WordNet. Use the number that is on the screen to text your amount and follow the on-screen instructions. Thank you very much and be blessed always.